Hey guys, in this video, I'll be showing you two methods of frequency separation. They are both very easy, fast, and the result they give is super amazing. And we know for the ado, let's get started. For the first method, we'll be using this frequency separation action that I'll be sharing with you for absolutely free, link in the description. So you come to your action panel, write on the frequency separation action, you press play to play that action, and now you can choose a radius. Now for a more realistic result, you use a high radius, but for a more smooth effect, you use a low radius. So to get a more realistic result, where the effect of the frequency separation is mild, that is light, you use a high radius of up to 20 or 30, but for a more smooth effect, that one that looks retouched, and some people will say it's over retouch. Why? Maybe that's what your client wants. You use a low radius value from three all the way to eight, will give you a very smooth result. So just to have a, a more pronounced effect, we use a low radius of five. So the radius you use determines the image you are retouching and the purpose of retouching that image. For a more natural look, you use a higher radius. But for this image, you use the radius of five so that you can see a more pronounced before and after difference. So I will choose the radius of five, we click on OK to create this action, the frequency separation action. So if you open this action, you are going to see high and median. Now we are using the median method of frequency separation, which is better than the Gaussian blur method because the median method doesn't blur the edges. It leaves the edges intact, but the Gaussian method blurs everywhere, both the edges and any other part you are applying the blur to. So we use the median method that preserve the edges and give your image a more sharp result. So that's why we are using the media method. So even if you are using the frequency separation action, you go and download this one, try it out and see the results you are going to get. So we turn off the high frequency. So this high frequency contains the texture, the low frequency contains the color. So if you turn off the high frequency, you are going to see that your image becomes a little bit blur because there's no more texture in it. It's just the color. So we are going to work on the color. So the frequency separation right now is going to even the color. All these patches you are seeing in the colors, this frequency separation is going to even it out. And the tool we are going to use is the lasso tool for this method. The second method neither uses the lasso tool nor the brush nor the mixer brush or any other brush. It just automatically goes into your image and retouch it for you. But for this first method I'm showing you, it's a little bit more popular than the second method that I'm very sure you've not seen anywhere else. So we we'll go from this first method that is also very easy to use to the second method that is super fast. So when you take your lasso tool, you make a selection around your image like this. If you don't like the selection, you click outside the selection to remove it. Then make the selection again. So the shape of selection you make you are going to target the unique patterns on the face. So for the face, you can see there's a shape right here. There's almost a triangle right here. There's a polygon right here. There's another shape right here. So what you are doing, you are selecting these areas. I'm not doing that right now. I'm just showing you where you are going to select. These areas like this, you are going to select them. You cannot select the nose like this. You are going to flatten the nose. Instead, you select the contours by the side and then maybe select the highlight at the top so that while you even the color, you still keep the shape of the face intact. So we are going to select this area right here, just like this. And now we are going to go to this image, the center of it right here. We are going to right click. We are going to click on fader, left click on fader. The fader radius should be 30. Now you click on OK. Now you go to Filter, you go to Blur, you now go to Gaussian Blur, and then you blow at the radius of 30. Now you click on OK. So you can see that the colors here 
have been evened out you do the same thing on this area right here you select this area like i showed you click on feeder 30 come to filter blow gash and blow and then you apply that blow radius now you click on ok so that's what you are going to basically do all over the image it's just a repeated pattern for this first method you are going to do this repeated pattern and you can see for the filter you have the gaussian blow here you can also use a shortcut alternate control f it's going to apply the last filter we use with the value we use so if we apply this gaussian blow it's going to apply the gaussian blow at the radius of 30. so that's what you are going to do after now to speed up the process so you make your selection you fader you come to filter you click on gaussian blow it's going to apply the last value you used so fader okay gaussian blow so that's what we are going to do all over the image but like i said earlier the second method doesn't need you to do all this and that one is super fast you just click on the action and the action is going to retouch the image it sounds unbelievable until you see how it works and i'm going to show you very very soon so you can see this one is having this edge around here because we did not apply the feeder so ctrl z to remove the effect now you apply feeder of 30 now you go to filter you apply gaussian blow you can see the effect and you do that for every other part of the image this method is kind of boring but it's super easy anytime you forget to apply the feeder you're going to see this edge i'm showing you that so that you know what's going wrong when you see this edge on your selection after applying the Gaussian blow. So make sure you apply the filter and see there's no more edge. So we do the same thing all over the image. Let's see the effect we have gotten right now. Let's zoom in onto our image. Here was the before. See all these patches right here. Here is the after. The result is amazing. And the method is quite easy. We will not stop only on the face. We also go down to the neck and apply this same principle. But instead of me wasting your time doing all that, we are just going to jump into the second method that I can't wait to show you. So for this method, here was the before and here is the after. We still need to fix the lips with the clone stamp to and all that, we do that after applying the second method of frequency separation. So here was the before, we are going to delete. Here's the after, we are going to delete this frequency separation action right here. We are going to delete it and apply the second method. So here comes the second method of frequency separation. This one uses an action called the auto FS. It's called the auto fix FS, that is the auto fix frequency separation. And now we click on this auto fix frequency separation now click on the play button and voila, it automatically goes into our image. Apply frequency separation and apply a little bit of sharpening. So here was the before. You can see all these patches here and there. Here's the after. You can see it has evened out our image automatically for us. Everywhere from the neck to the face, all over the image. Here was the before and here is the after. If you feel like this is too much, you can reduce the opacity or increase the opacity. If you think this is not enough, what do you do? You flatten the image, come to the action again, you click on play and voila again is going to increase the intensity. You can see now this is obviously too much, but I just want to show you how this action is going to effectively create a smooth effect all over your image with just one click so let's take a look at the before and the after so here was before applying this action and here's after this effect is obviously too much but you might desire it on some areas of the skin that you want to be more even so you apply a max, you now click on Ctrl I, 
to invert the layer marks so it becomes black that is it removes the effect from the image now make sure your brush is white take your brush make sure the foreground is white and now paint over the area i want to review this effect maybe on the cheek here like this under the chin on the nose you can see how sharp this image is and you can turn down the opacity and don't forget this was done with just one click just one click you get this amazing result you can see the before applying this action and here's the after it's super amazing and you can just get this for one dollar not 100 but one dollar and that is just you trying to support the channel for professional photographers that want to speed up their workflow. This action is very suitable for you and it's just $1. That's if you use the link in the description right now to get this action. Check if it's still available in the description. Use that link to get the action for just $1 and speed up your retouching. Reduce your retouching time from 30 minutes to as fast as 30 seconds from 30 minutes to 30 seconds you can easily apply this frequency separation action let me know your thoughts in the comment section if this amazes you also like this video subscribe to this channel for more helpful tip tricks and photography tutorial happy to be part of your creative journey see you in another amazing tutorial